it is the beginning of the year. And what do I normally do at the beginning of the year? I reflect back on last year. And last year, a lot of shoes entered this room. So we're going to talk about my top 10 sneaker pickups of 2022. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and what's up? Hey everybody, I'm Stacy, and welcome back to my channel to all of my existing subscribers. And to all my new subscribers, hello, sit down, get a drink, get a snack, and welcome to this week's video. All right. Uh, happy new year to everybody. First and foremost, I took a very well, um, well-deserved break. <laughs> I did from work and from YouTube, everything. Now I'm back, it's the new year. We have new videos, we have new ideas, but we also have some older things to show. So after the um, next week, all the way to March, you guys are gonna see videos that were shot in 2022 of the remaining shoes that I picked up in 2022. Let me tell y'all, I actually kept track of all the shoes I bought this year. I bought a total of 45 pairs of shoes this year, sneakers sneakers okay now here's the situation i actually thought i bought more but i did not and a couple of these i didn't buy they were actually you know gifted to me things like that but anyway this is crazy to me <laughs> it is absolutely crazy to me that i bought this many shoes and i think you guys got to see every shoe that i have on here Actually, I think uh, the shoes you all did, I don't think you guys saw the acronyms and the Serena Williams, the first two shoes I got in February, but eh, no big deal. You probably, I think you guys seen pictures of them on my Instagram. That's most likely it. But in T way, 45 pairs of shoes this year. Lord Jesus. Okay. But anyway. You guys came to see what are my top 10 sneakers of 2022. I know that's what y'all came here for. And I also have like three honorable mentions. I actually was going to have two, but then there was a third I realized is not on this list. So um, I am actually going to throw them in. And I just have to type them in on the, um, on the iPad. So I'm actually going to go in order from 10 to 1. Here's the situation. Number one and number two can interchange. Because number one and number two were, are, were, and are my favorite shoes of the year. So let's start with number 10. Okay, number 10 is the Jordan 1 Varsity Red Nostalgia. These were, I love these. These were the um, high OG. These had the chenille swoosh on them of course i'm going to show you guys i'm going to do a cutaway show you guys the original um on foot showings because actually as i've already worn these at least once this year i love these shoes i love the red and black it's easy these were um a women's exclusive and i i remember seeing a lot of men that were going after these i actually kept my hang tag on mine and i went with the red lace um, actually, I went with a uh, split lace, red on one side and the uh, cream lace on the other. I wanted to do something a little different with the shoe. I've seen some people, um, actually, I've seen like everybody do all red or the all cream lace. I wanted, you know, y'all know I like a different lace and I like to do things a little differently. So I want to do, I, I wanted to just make the shoe pop with having at least one shoe being different than the other. And number nine are the Dunk High Next Nature and the pink colorway. Um, these are nice and toasty, just to let you guys know. I have a um, video. I'm going to try to put the video up top. I don't think I can link, uh, put too many cards up top. So I am going to put the sneaker playlist up top so you guys can see all the sneakers that I bought this year and past year some sneakers. But yeah, these shoes are really cool. Uh, they give me knitted blanket feels. That's what I really, I think that's what I said in the original video. Plus, um, I'm not going to get, like I said, I'm not going to get into in depth. The video, the unboxing video is going to give you more information. But yeah, I love this shoe. I love the way it looks. 
And yeah, I if you were not able to grab these, if they do another restock, I really recommend you pick them up. Okay, and number eight, the first Air Force One we are dropping. These are the Air Force One SE 40th Anniversary Team Red. Now, difference in this from the original video, I switched out the lace. Oh no, actually I had already had the laces switch um, and the on foot shots to this the red to a red lace. I wanted the laces to pop instead of using the white laces. So I went with this red lace that actually goes with the mid and um, bottom sole and the small swooshes on the sides here. But yeah, I love this shoe. Um, 82 to 22. I love that they put that on the inside of the shoe. Let me see if you guys can see that. It's so weird. That's why I might have to add another light in here. 82 to 22. That is so cool. I, y'all know I'm a Jordan one and an Air Force one girl. So if it's not one, it's the other. I just kind of started getting into dunks. So, you know, but yeah, these shoes, super cute, super comfortable. Love them. All right. Number seven are the Jordan one comfort uh, zoom comfort Chicago bull highs. Okay. I think I told you guys, I did not go for the lost and founds. This is the reason why I did not go for the Lost and Founds. This and the Nostalgias, the ones at number 10. I don't, I, and actually I have a few other red, black, and white Jordans. So it's kind of like, why do I need to go for the Lost and Founds when I have the Comforts and the, the Zoom Airs? And a lot of people, I know there's people that don't care for the Zooms. And, you know, that's fine. More for me. <laughs> that's how I feel. More for me with this shoe. I like the Zoom Comfort because they are comfortable shoes. And it's a classic colorway. You can never go wrong with the Chicago Bulls colorway. Okay, number six, we are going with the Air Force One LA Fleas. This shoe, this shoe is so cool. I love this shoe. Um, you guys know, well, let me not say you guys know. Just to let you know, my Air Force Ones, I like my Air Force Ones, not regular Air Force Ones. Do I like the regular white all forces? Yes, I do. But when they do collabs and special editions like these, this really, um, this really does it for me. I love this shoe. The shoe looks great on foot. I love the fact that we have rope laces. Um, I love that the swoosh has this uh, like unfinished detail on the swoosh. The colorway is very spring summer. I just love this shoe. Uh, you guys see me on in in it walking around. Love this shoe. Um, I'm I'm glad I was able to pick it up. We're at the halfway mark. Number five, y'all. Number five. We're going with the Jordan OG High Taxis or Yellow Toes. Um, I switched out the laces and went with the white lace on this one. Um, I know this shoe may not be in a lot of people's top 10. And the more I thought about that, cause I was kind of seeing some people's top tens and this shoe is not in their top 10 and that's fine. That's fine with me. Everybody's different. And I love that everybody is different with their top tens, but this was in my top 10 because when I first saw this man, I was like, I don't own a lot of yellow. I remember that. And I remember trying hard to figure out what to do with this. And I was like, no, 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 I can figure something out. But it's funny that for Christmas, as you guys can see my t-shirt, stand up so you guys can see it. This is the Steely Dan Can't Buy a Thrill um, album cover. And it goes perfectly with the yellow toes. So this shoe, great shoe. Um, I mean, it's not a whole lot I can say about it. Uh, this was a shoe, I think, it was sought after, but I don't think it made people's top 10, but that's okay. It's in my top 10. Okay. Number four is the only low Jordan in the top 10. These are the Jordan one low homage, or I call them the black and white splits. This shoe, let me do it this way. I, <laughs> this is my Joker shoe. I love this shoe. Um, I remember they came out with these in the mid and the low. Um, I ended up going up low on this because of, oh my gosh, I just realized there's a, I'm gonna have four 
honorable mention. I just realized I'm going to have four honorable mentions. There's a, there's some shoes missing, but anyway, 40 some odd shoes. Good Lord. What can I figure out? Anyway, these shoes love them. I had to split the strings. I did a black, I did a white and a black string on here. You can also throw a red string on here. These shoes you can do so much with. You can wear this. Um, you can wear these formal, you can wear them, um, casual. I just love this shoe. And I remember when I first saw it, I was like, I knew I had to have it. I just didn't go with the mids because I, I have other black and white mids and highs in my collection. So it was kind of like, why do I need to get a, why do I need to get another mid or high when I can go low? All right. We are on number three. Oh my gosh. We are getting close to the end. So the last pair of Air Force Ones are the Air Force One Beetroot or Roman Empire uh, that I actually a subscriber told me this in the comments of the video and I'd like to thank you. I don't I don't remember who it was because uh, I remember when I did the video, I was like, why is Caesar on the tongue? Come to find out these are also called the Roman Empire. So I remember when I first saw these shoes and I loved this color, this dark beetroot color stupid for fall and i have a, a bag to go with it if you guys i um that video is in the playlist it goes with my valentino v tote and i was like this shoe is perfect for those and these are like fall that that fall dark color way also i knowing me i'm gonna rock them all all season because i love them i just love the way this shoe looks how it just these shoes are stupid man i'm so glad i got them okay and before i get to the top two shoes like i said one and two can be interchangeable let me go into honorable mentions as you guys see the shoe change because the first honorable mention are going to be the air jordan one stealth i realized i actually went and walked out in the snow in these like a ding dong don't ask me why but they are still wet i just realized it so i need to dry them off but love these shoes i don't gray and white is a color combo put them down because i can't put them on my lap um i love the color combo i love the leather the leather jeez the leather on those shoes was stupid it was just great i mean crazy if you did not um, if, if you were not able to grab them, hopefully they are going to do a restock the leather. They did, they use some top quality leather. And I think somebody, I think I read that the leather was goat leather. I pray it wasn't, but it is what it is. Cause you know, leather's cow. So, um, I love the shoe. I love what they did on the tongue. I love the colorway. I went with the gray laces on these instead of the white. Cause I want the gray to pop out more, but yeah, that shoe is a gray shoe. Um, like I said, if they're able to do a restock, grab them. Honorable mention number two are the Air Force One mid off whites. This is my first pair of off white sneakers that I ever bought. And I actually got to wear these outside. I think I wore these to Target. Um, this shoe is nice. This is a good shoe has it's breathable. So like, if you want to wear, I think these are good in the, um, spring, summer months right now would not be, well, what is it now? It's 46 degrees here in St. Louis. So you could wear them right now, but I wouldn't, I mean, wouldn't be bad to wear in the snow because of the uh, sticky little stickies on the bottom. But, um, I wouldn't wear them because my feet might get cold. Cause like I said, it is a thin material. I love these shoes. A lot of people did not like them, but I noticed that they sold out. But if you are still looking for this shoe, I know Essence has them on their site and Essence is running a big sale. So I'm going to put a link to Essence, the Essence down below so you guys could check out their sale. I, well, hopefully they're still running a sale when this video drops because I'm not dropping this video till the 8th of January. So I'll still put Essence in there because I know these shoes are there. Um, are on the site, but these shoes I loved. And like I said, this was my first, um, off white, um, Nike collab. And I'm so happy that I was able to grab them. All right. Honorable mention number 
three, three, because number four is sitting behind me. Um, honorable mention number three are going to be the Jordan 11 Low Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet? Yeah, Ultraviolet. Because I kept saying a different name in the video. But these are called the Ultraviolets. I like this shoe. Um, I do have a, th I think this is one of the few 11s that I own. I love this shoe. I love the purple. I think I told you guys originally I don't own a lot of purple. So this kind of forced me out of my comfort zone. Is purple in my shirt? I don't think purple's in this shirt. I don't know. I don't think it is, but that's okay. I, this shoe kind of forced me out of my comfort zone of colors. And I love how this shoe works. Uh, dress it up, dress it down. Cause it has that. That's right. The 11s have that look because of the way this, it kind of looked like dressy shoes. And you know, you guys know holiday time. We always get a holiday 11 high. The cherries were the, uh, the holiday one this year. No, I didn't go for them just to let y'all know, but I did get the 11 ultraviolet, the low ultraviolet. Fourth and final honorable mention goes to the Jordan one low multicolors. Um, I love this shoe. Uh, this kind of, this kind of gave me the African flag vibes with the red, black, and green. And then you had your hits of pink and, uh, blue and the yellow, which I think is beautiful. I love this shoe. Um, as you guys know, I did get the multicolor mids also. I wanted to throw those in, but I think I, the lows were the ones I was really going for. I got the mids also, but both of these shoes, I love them. But I can't show all 40 of my shoes in one video. So this, I went with this as the last honorable mention. Now let's get into number one, number two and number one. Okay. Number two and number one interchange. And the reason why I dropped this at number two is because number one was the shoe that ended the year for me. But number two was a shoe that I wasn't even looking to get. Jordan one high OG heirlooms. This wasn't on my, this was on my radar, but not on my radar. Reason why is because of the way they launched, they launched this shoe to go to neighborhood stores here in St. Louis. Unfortunately, we do not have a neighborhood store anymore. We used to have, um, oh gosh, it was a shoe uh, in the loop. I mean, it, used to, it was a store in the loop we used to have. Not All Star. What was the name of this this store? I can't remember. But uh, Nelly shot Air Force One's video in that store, and I remember that day. It was crazy. But anyway, we're not gonna get into that. But this shoe, I have on my Unbox app. I got a a notification that um, a, a store out of state had them, and I want to say Sneaker Politics. The, um, the original video is below. I tell the full story. I was able to pick them up from there. And this shoe I actually got a couple of subscribers when wearing this shoe at the mall. So, uh, this shoe, I love the shoe. I love the color. I love how simple they are. And then I did that red string, popped them out. Um, this shoe wasn't even on my radar and I got them and I'm still, I'm still over the moon about them. Okay, we're at the grand finale, number one. <laughs> the This shoe, I kind of hinted what this shoe was because, uh, let me get my microphone right here. I kind of hinted what the shoe was when I said October. And the shoe that did drop in October was the Jordan 1 OG High Starfish. Yep, this is my number one or number two. Because the heirloom could be number one or number two also. Heirloom could be number one because it was an unexpected shoe. This could be my number one because this is giving me shattered backboard vibes. This shoe is also called the Birkin bag shoe because of the orange. The orange is actually like the orange on the, the signature orange or gold of the Birkin, of uh, the Hermes Birkin or Kelly bag. And I think they call it Birkin because of the Birkin bag. But anyway, this shoe, like I said, this gives me Shattered Backboard vibes and Shattered Backboard Jordan is my grail. If I could ever run across it at retail, because I ain't paying, y'all know we don't do resale up in here. 
If I can get it at retail, it's a done deal. I can stop. All of this would stop if I could get those. And I'm, you know, I'm just saying that because they would never stop. But <laughs> those shoes are my favorite. And when they came out with these, this shoe really took the cake for me. And I was done. Like I, when, after I bought this shoe, I said my top 10 was over. I started writing the list. Like I said, I had the, I had four honorable mentions. That shows you, I, I love pretty much every shoe I got this year, but these are my top 10 sneaker pickups of the year. And that is it for this video. That it was my top 10 sneaker pickups of 2022. Woo. That was a lot. 42 shoes and I had to narrow out 10. I ended up narrowing out 14 because y'all know it's hard to pick between all everything that you have. And when you love everything that you have, it's really hard to just narrow it down. But like I said, number one into number two could switch. So I could have easily just added. That's why there were four, <laughs> four honorable mentions. So that is it for this video. I'm going to get out of here. It's after one o'clock and I haven't had lunch and I'm off work today. I'm on vacation. So if you guys like videos like this and want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Liking and subscribing are free of charge to everyone involved, including myself. Also, the blog is back. I'm making it my mission in 2023 to give you guys new blog um, entries. Sneakershandbags.net. You want to go over there, read something, what I'm thinking about, what I'm talking about. I got some really good topics I came up with for this year and I'm still coming up with more. If you guys, if you guys have topics, if you guys, uh, things you guys want, want to read about my thoughts on, talk to me below here on YouTube. No problem doing that. I'm going to get out of here. I am hungry. I need some lunch and that is it. Happy new year to all. And yeah, we got a we got a lot of new stuff coming. If you guys have any suggestions of anything that you guys want to see here on the YouTube channel, talk to me below here on YouTube. That is it. I got to go. Love, peace, hair products, tech, sneakers, handbags, luxury, home decor, and all that fun stuff. Bye.